Hey there folks, my name is Adrian with Project Ramos and on this channel I do tech reviews. So if you're passionate about tech like I am, consider subscribing. What I have here is a replacement battery for the Sony NP-FZ100 battery. This comes in a two pack and I'm not sure how you pronounce the name so I'm going to spell it out for you. It's E-E-Y-R-D-U-Y. And to quickly go over the specs of this battery, it has a uh, 2500 milliamp hour rating, which is 18.5 watt hours, and it puts out uh, 7.4 volts, which in comparison, the Sony battery, which I have here, puts out 7.2 volts. And as far as the capacity on the Sony, it is 2280 milliamps and 16.4 watt hours i mentioned that because i did a comparison between the two that way you know what you're getting here because this setup right here is considerably less expensive than just one sony npfz 100 battery now compatibility wise this is going to work with any a7r3 a7r4 a7R5, the Alpha A6600, the A9, the A7 III. So that encompasses all of the Sony cameras that use the NP-FZ100 battery. Now what I have here is the Sony branded battery and the battery that we're reviewing here today. And you can see that they are identical. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart unless if you were to look at the label here or on the flip side, the fact that the Sony branded camera has this uh, silk screen information here along with the little um, hologram logo. But other than that, the batteries are identical. Now what I do have on hand is an A7R3 and an A6600 both of which use this type of battery. And I've been using these batteries now for uh, quite a few weeks and they have been working with no issues. Uh, and as a matter of fact, the cameras pick these up as genuine batteries because sometimes uh, when you get replacement batteries, the camera will tell you that the battery is not genuine and uh, it will warn you that there could be compatibility issues. However, with these batteries, I did not experience that. Now everything so far is checking out great for these batteries. However, I did run some measurement tests and I have some interesting results. Let's go over those now. What I measured here was the actual capacity of the battery. Now, if you're not familiar with capacity, uh, the manufacturers will normally state the capacity of the battery but you'll never hit 100% of that so that is expected however with this battery it is rated as a 2500 milliamp hour battery with 18.5 watt hours in my measurements I was able to get 1532 milliamp hours which is 11.27 watt hours which is not great in terms of efficiency that means that we were only able to get 61 percent of the stated capacity out of this battery pack now the entire process took five hours 54 minutes to completely discharge the battery which is pretty good however the efficiency at 61 percent isn't great but take that with a grain of salt because your mileage will vary depending on your usage of your equipment. I also measured the charge rate and it took two hours, 39 minutes to take the battery from completely dead to fully charged. Now in comparison, I also measured the Sony branded battery, which is rated at 2,280 milliamps, which is 16.4 watt hours. And the battery actually outperformed the state of capacity. I was able to pull 2,358 milliamps, milliamp hours, which equates out to 16.94 watt hours. That means it has a 103% efficiency rate, which is really great for a battery. Now, I know I stated that you almost never uh, hit 100% of the stated capacity. However, Sony did uh, under uh, state the capacity of their battery. So it's definitely overachieving. Another interesting measurement during the discharge rate, it took nine hours and five minutes to fully discharge the Sony branded battery. Charge time of the Sony battery did take considerably longer. It took four hours and one minute to fully charge the Sony branded 
battery. So given the measurements that I came up with, I would recommend these replacement batteries for either somebody that uses their uh, Sony equipment, cameras, uh, you know, just infrequently, you know, you're not going out in some really heavy duty uh, photo shoots or video shoots um, or for anyone that just needs some backup batteries just in case that the batteries that you normally use run out of juice you have these as backup because the cost of these make it very easy to pick up several of these and just have them charged up ready to go at the ready all right folks that's going to wrap it up for this video let me know in the comments if you think that these batteries given the measurements that i found with them if they're still worth the cost of the product take a look online and you'll see that these are half the cost of just one sony battery but i'd like to know your thoughts let me know what you think